Okay, so here is the deal. You hold so much power in your hands, you have no idea. You are so powerful. You are where you are right now in life because of all the choices you have made coming up to this point. So you have created everything that you see around you right now. It's not good, it's not bad, it just is. You are a creator. So we are here in this club to create the life and the home of our dreams. I wanted to give us all the opportunity to pour as much love and gratitude into what we currently possess in order to get more of that. Now, when I say more, I don't necessarily mean more stuff, more things to organize, more things to declutter. I mean more of a feeling. So when you're trying to manifest something, when you're trying to create something, and manifestation is not pulling something out of thin air, manifestation is creating something through inspired action. So when you're doing that, and we're doing that here in the club, with our homes and schedules and whatever else it is, you want to create these things and make these things because you know they're gonna make you feel a certain way. So we're gonna tap into those feelings in order to get what it is that we think we want. So we're gonna do a little bit of an exercise, a little visualization exercise, if you will do that with me. Don't worry about looking at me. Um, I would like for you to close your eyes and really kind of tap into your imagination and um, just really tap into that left brain. Don't worry about logic right here, right now. We're just gonna dream a little bit. Dreaming is so good. Some of the most amazing minds in history were dreaming minds. Albert Einstein, I mean, I could just list so many. So tap into that also, that imagination, and just shut down for a few minutes. Shut all the stuff down around you, all the distractions, and if you have a moment to just get settled in a little quiet space in an area where you cannot be interrupted, I want you to close your eyes. This will just take a few minutes. Take a few cleansing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and I'm going to give you a few seconds to do that a few more times on your own with your eyes closed. And now with your mind's eye, I want you to envision yourself. You're in a car and you are driving down the street towards your dream home. So you feel your hands on the steering wheel. You're starting to take your foot off of the gas as you slow down because your beautiful house is coming into view. You can see it. You get a smile on your face because you are so happy to be home. There is your dream home. You are so excited to walk into that front door. So go ahead, pull your car into the driveway, if you have a driveway, or maybe it's just a street. For me, it's actually just a little gravel road, and I'm parking the car. Park your car. Get out of your car. You're going to walk towards the door that leads into your home. All right, now you're going to grab the doorknob and open the door into your home and you're going to step into the home all the way. Your entire body's in your house now. Immediately you feel these certain sensations, certain emotions and feelings. So just tap into that. What is it that you feel? What are the things you want to feel when you walk into your dream home. So list those things for yourself in your mind. Even take a little tour of your house if you want to. Stay as long as you like. Pause this if you want to continue on with your visualization. Otherwise, I would like for you to go ahead and open your eyes now and come back to the here and now and think about three things that you felt, three amazing describing words. These are your desired feelings. 
things that you want to feel whenever you're in your home. If you'll take a look at the um, vision board guide that I've got for you guys in the downloadable section, there are a few words listed, but come up with the words on your own if you can. Um, for instance, some words that um, some club members in the past have come up with and subscribers, some subscribers that have asked um, the word tranquil, calm, soothing, inspired, joyful, relaxed. What do you want to feel when you're in your home? So that's where we want to get you to pick no more than three words. And the reason you want to pick no more than three words is because if you throw too many words out there, you're going to start to get a little overwhelmed and you're going to feel almost obligated to make yourself feel a certain way or your message to yourself is going to start to get a little unclear. Um, so what do I want? Do I want to be relaxed or do I want to be energized? So just kind of, um, you can kind of be both, but you can't be 20 things all at once necessarily. That gets way too confusing. So no more than three words. And that's your vision. That's your vision for your home. And then dive into the vision board guide and kind of like get started on that and create the home of your dreams using a vision board. If that feels good to you, not required. It's something that I do. In fact, my vision board is right here. I can see it right here in front of me. I look at it every day while I'm working at it, working, it is just, it's almost like staring me in the face and it just inspires me. So if you are a visual person, even if you're not a visual person, sometimes just kind of having it there, kind of like off in the distance, almost that you're not even looking at it. It just is a constant reminder of what it is that you're trying to create. And what you're trying to create is not necessarily a tangible physical thing. We want to get those tangible physical things to get us to our desired feelings. Now, if you want to um, dive a little bit more into desired feelings, you can uh, take a look at, I actually have it here, um, the desire map. Let's see if you guys can, if I can get that there for you. The desire map by Daniel Laporte. This is very helpful or just do a visualization on your own. 